Um, this fabric was actually from a shower curtain that I bought at Lowe's of all places. My husband says I can find the weirdest places to shop for things. More pages. Middle of the fourth signature. Here's more of that fabric uh, from that shower curtain. Just gorgeous. And it was on sale. Most of the things I get are either free or on sale or so cheap it's almost free. That's how I, I managed to, to get so much. I'm very frugal in many things. That means I can get more. <laughs> I love that paper. My port prints again. This is just a sweet little compilation of blues with a little girl and the lace and buttons. And in here, I've taken this, I forget now, this was a, a scrapbook packet that I just kind of fussy cut around the flowers and put right on top of it. And I thought it worked out really well. And I've used blue ink to go around the decorative edges. And it just sits in there. All right. I have to have it so it, I didn't want it to interfere. I think maybe it was this way. Because I don't want to interfere with her face. Sweet little girl. And there's the back. Using some scrapbook um, scraps again. And we have that little picture. Vintage button and then yeah. Another picture from the book. Page from My Porch Prints. And I don't remember where that came from, but I fell in love with it. And, and I thought, well, that, that goes with our theme. Sort of a young family with children. And so this is the first time I've tried this, and I really like it. Um, you just literally, it's attached to the page. And you just put down a ribbon, you fold up your page. And so you're able to open it up. And I've seen this done many times, but I've never done it. And again, this is where you would also want to use your um, your uh, writing board to put under here if you were going to write. Because obviously it's going to be difficult writing on that. So you would just ta -da, put it like so. But I thought that was really neat. Beautiful paper. See if I can easily get it back together again without too much hassle. I thought it was just a nice way of including a bit of paper and being decorative too. Wow, that was easy. Ta -da! Scary. Too easy. More cutouts from the book. And as I said, this kind of goes and goes and goes from the book. This is from My Porch Prints. It's just a little card that's double-sided, just blank on the inside. It's so pretty. And this is the other uh, sheet of that sheet music, sheet, other sheet of the sheet music. That's good, Jen. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. I, I don't see a date. Rats. Okay, anyway. Made another pocket here with a um, picture from the book. And I made a little booklet here. Cut out pictures from the book. And here, these butterflies are also cut from the book. And I thought that would make a cute little... It's got several pages in there, but I just thought it would be kind of neat. There we go. Actually, I think I'd do it this way. I think that's how I did it. Anyway, here we have a reverse using... This is a Tim Holtz butterfly. And then my favorite green leaf ribbon. Make sure I'm still in. Here we have a tiny little envelope. I put some Velcro on the closure. I purchased these from a shop on Etsy. And I'll put that link below if I can remember it. I'll try and remember it. But inside is an actual piece of paper. And I just love those little... You know, I love miniatures. And... How sweet is that? So I just kind of glued it down and I wanted it to remain closed so it wouldn't get torn. So that's why I put the little Velcro on it. And then when I put it on a piece of cardstock, I sent, kept the back so that you could have a little pocket. Because we all need more pockets. All right, now I want it to go back in. Here we go. Very good. Here is the beginning of the last signature. And this was perfect. This is an old piece um, 
antique i believe i got this also from um packard's antique mall a couple of years back got it for an absolute steal long lengths of this beautiful uh lace and i thought it looks just like a curtain so i thought right so it's going to be a curtain because you wouldn't want a curtainless window in a baby's room vintage buttons here little charm it's a um what is this oh it's a hummingbird and <laughs> this was fun i'd almost forgotten about this i'll explain him in a minute this is a piece of uh, wallpaper and this is the first time i've used wallpaper and i love it someone gifted it to me i think at last year's retreat and it's got this slight sheen to it and it's just so pretty but this is something you could take with you like on a short trip or something to write down instead of hauling the whole um journal with you you could just take that out and this i've had this for years it's a greeting card i at one time i was thinking very seriously of making my own greeting cards and i found several uh, greeting cards that i liked and i would purchase them at, to use as sort of inspiration and samples to you know show me how to do it and this one I, it just looked fun but then i found journaling or making creating journals and yeah greeting cards went out the door so i had all these cards that i'd purchased over the years and i was like well okay well not over the years maybe one year but it's it's terry cloth and i just it's fun so i thought right you're going in there i finally found a use for it i've been saving it for some years now fabric and lace snippet here more from the book beautiful paper this came from there's another well obviously there's the other side of it this is an original sheet from a book it was by rachel ashwell she was the one who did the um oh what was it oh i'm drawing a blank but anyway uh those of you who remember rachel ashwell you'll know what i'm talking about but this was a uh, an original page from one of her books i love the flowers i just think they're gorgeous and um, that's the back side of it. And that's cut from the book. Little cat. Just beautiful. And that's strictly for decoration. Cut from the book here. Cut from the book. <laughs> Little cat. Um, we are a cat family. This raises up. As a matter of fact, while I'm doing this, Dundee the orange marmalade one. He is our oldest cat, and he is laying right outside the door on the cool stone steps, making sure that I do this video correctly, I hope. Here we have some vintage buttons, and it's sweet. Just love the pictures. Just a tiny little card and a little pocket of fabric snippets. All right, come on, come on, come on. At the shoe store. She's practicing for when she gets bigger. A little bit of plain paper here. That I've just folded and dyed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some vintage lace. A little flower, paper flower. More beautiful paper. More of the ledger paper, and again, that's just a plain card that's two-sided. And I just put it over there. Isn't it beautiful? My porch prints. Oh, goodness. Lovely little cutouts from the book. And there's the reverse. This is just a card you can see here. I'm not going to take it out, but it's this one is from New Year's Eve. They had some um, some holiday pictures in there, and I just loved it. This was done by my friend Jane Lockwood. Jane uh, created the most fabulous journal for me. And uh, then she had all this extra stuff. She's like me. She really packs those journals. And she had all of these extra things. And I, I was able to use that. So sweet. And I am going to figure out how to make those. I, she's told me how to do it. So that's, that's on my ever-lengthening list of things to learn how to do. Doesn't he look cute? The new baby in the house, and yeah, he's feeling like he's just not getting a love. Little charm there. Little, um, <laughs> cute little dog. And in the back of this is a card. Just using up some scrapbook 
scraps, scrap it page scraps. And then I think, did I leave this empty or not? I can't remember. Nope. It's a little card, basically the same. Well, I'm not even going to mess with it, but there's a card in there. Trust me. And it matches this one here. It just doesn't have the, um, the ribbon on it. So sweet. I love these little envelopes. Although, I think I need to shorten this string. It's like leading off into Montana somewhere. That was a sweet page. Mistress Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. So sweet. And I've just put in a blank piece of paper. I've used um, a botanical die cut from Tim Holtz, which I thought matched really well. Just tuck spots here and there. This, I purchased this from a lady, and do I remember where? No. And there were just lots of little bits and pieces that I've been able to use. Little cards and stuff. Well, that was very sweet, and I just added a little flower to it from the book. Hmm, more from the book, more from the book. My favorite ribbon. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> He's holding the carrot to get the rabbit out, and of course there's the rabbit. Naturally. Toy store. And feeding the little puppy from the from the table. Which is a no no, or at least it was in my house when we had pets. There this is the back sheet of that Rachel Ashwell. Shabby chic, that's the one that was that she first introduced the term shabby chic uh, decorating. These are from the book. You can see the back sheet, just gorgeous. Little cards here. And again, this came from, I am drawing a blank, but she came up with this really cool idea of doing the upside down hearts, and I thought that was really cool. Nice little decorative touch. She has a little, you know, a hole punch, but you can't get in there to do it right side up because this is too wide. So she just did it upside down, and I thought it was perfect. Awesome, beautiful paper, and more from the book. And then this is, this is a really helpful hint on if you have more than one child, and, um, you you recycle not recycle but the the youngest child gets the hand me downs as we always called it has some great tips for identifying who belongs to what and so on and so forth so I thought that was really cool so I kept in there fabric and lace snippet this is the last the back sheet uh, of the last signature sweet little cards. And look at it. Antique vase. A little kiddo drinking out of the, the great big teacup. All right, get down in here. Don't misbehave. All right, misbehave then. And there's the back. And this is where I keep the, um, the writing board. It just slips right down in here. And that is the end. Um, as, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty pretty happy chunky baby. But um, as I said, it is listed in my Etsy, or it will be listed in my Etsy shop when I finish. Let me just put the um, the bookmark back in here. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like the video, if you just indicate that in the comments below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure all of my little, my book jewelry, as uh, Jane calls it, make sure that those are out. A little hand, bye bye hand. There's more in there. There's six of them somewhere. There's, there's another one. But you can see it's all, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I've been meaning to do this for ages. And so it was, it's finally something that's come off of my list. Of course, I probably added three on the list since then but that's totally beside the point but you just do it this way and you don't have to undo the the ribbon as a closure 
That's what's nice about this type of closure. You can keep the keep it looking nice without having to undo it and redo it and so on and so forth. So there we have it. Um, Mom's Almanac is what the actual book was called. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it other than it's just a fun book for for a young parent or parents. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'm hoping you're going to have a lovely, lovely week ahead and a blessed day. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.